All right, now I want to show you one more video about WordPress, and this is probably the most important one, is how to delete your WordPress.com account. And why would you want to delete your blog posts? Well, there's many reasons why you might want to delete your posts and your site entirely. If you are not able to continue posting and you have, you're very infrequent with your posts and you just don't want to have that information out there any longer, you might want to consider deleting your posts and your whole entire site. Uh, for professional reasons, you might want to delete your site if you are only attracting negative feedback and it's just becoming too much and too much to handle all the time. Blogging does require a considerable amount of time and effort to write the posts and to follow up after them and to continuously put out content for people to read. But managing um, you know, p comments can be a little bit overwhelming, especially if you have a very popular uh, blog. So the thing about with deleting a blog site is that once you've deleted it, you can't retrieve it. So to think about when you think about deleting your blog, think very long and hard about your workflow before you do it because you might want to change your workflow of how often you post and how you're going to reply to comments. So if you can change that, then you might be able to have a, a much easier way to deal with your WordPress blog. But um, if it is really becoming way too much, you're getting way too much negative feedback, and you don't have the ability or the time to uh, respond to comments in, in ways that are helpful, it might be something then to just completely delete your blog. So let me show you how to do that. We're on the dashboard of the WordPress site and we're going to take a look at um, tools. We're going to go to delete site. Now, delete site, what is your goal? Did you know that deleting a site removes both the site name and the content forever? Chances are pretty good that's the, that there's a better solution. So let's take a look at the different solutions. Change my site's address. You can change the actual URL, the location of where it's at transfer my site to another user. So maybe you have uh, another user, someone who you've been working with uh, a lot, who takes, who's actually a big contributor to your site. Maybe you want to give them control of the site. So if you've created a healthcare blog that is not practice specific and it's just uh, a healthcare blog that anyone can contribute to, you might want to give the reins of that site over to another person and then they can you know, run with it. You can move your site to another host, and that is more of a thing if, you're, if you bought the package, the bundle from WordPress, you can move it off of the WordPress, uh, WordPress's servers and move it to another server of your own choice. Empty my site of all content. Now, what this does is it deletes all your pages and your posts and your categories and all that stuff. It keeps the site up, but it doesn't show any content, so it looks like it's a brand new WordPress site. Free up my site's uh, address so somebody else can use it. So if you've seen, I have this, uh, the name of my, my test site here is called Asriel Group Productions. It's a very unique name, but you know maybe somebody would like to use that name in the future. So I could basically rename my site's name and free it up for somebody. Or I can permanently delete my site's address and all content. This is the, the final nail in the coffin. This is what would get rid of the name and anybody else can then use it afterwards. This is what would delete all your information on here and then you would have no more, uh, mo no more blog content, no more blogs on, uh, on WordPress. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to permanently delete my site's address and all content. And we're going to click that. And then as I do, um, as I go through the process here, you'll see that it dynamically changes the information here, and you want to read through everything. So this is what happens when I click on to permanently delete the content. If I choose to change my site's address, move it to another host, it, it prompts you and gives you directions on how to do stuff. So I'm going to permanently delete. If you do not want to exist anymore, you can delete. This cannot be undone. This is permanent. All post data and site's address will be gone forever. So I want to permanently remove this site and I'm aware that I can never get it back or its address back. So I am going to click this and then I can write and tell people why I'm getting rid of this. So 
So this lets WordPress know that, hey, I'm not deleting this for, you know, I'm deleting this for valid reasons. So I'm going to delete the site here permanently. And as I do that, Thank you. Please check your email link to confirm your actions. So you are going to get an email from the WordPress.com and it's going to confirm you to uh, delete your site. And once you do that, your site's gone. So that's how you actually delete a WordPress site.